Welcome everybody to another week of From Muffin Top to Mountain Top. Hope everybody is having a great week, staying safe, staying healthy, and doing well. You just never know what can or might happen in this crazy world of ours. This week, I wanted to take a moment to share with you some of my favorite beverages. Did you know one study found that the average American consumes between 600 to 1,000 calories worth of beverages per day? Since I've started this diet, I have completely cut sodas out and tried to keep my beverage intake to less than 100 calories per day. So I wanted to take this week and share with you some of my favorite favorite beverages that I'm drinking right now. Of course water's involved, but there's a lot of other things that have some great flavor. So I hope you enjoy. So here we go for some of my favorite beverages. As you can see, I've got them all lined up here. Let's go ahead and start with coffee, what I'm drinking in the morning. My wife actually just purchased this one for me. It comes from a really cool coffee house in Washington, D.C called Ebenezer's Coffee House, where the profits are used uh, for a lot of mission work and charity work. Uh, so they do an awesome, awesome job. They make great coffee. Their coffee is actually done um, by One Village Coffee. One Village Coffee is a certified B Corporation. Uh, they do a lot of great, cool things and make a really, really great coffee. It is absolutely fantastic. I really like it. You can see, super fresh, only roasted uh, about two weeks ago. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend One Village Coffee uh, and supporting brands that do great things with the profits that they earn. So definitely check out One Village Coffee. Uh, two of my other favorites, I'm sure you've heard me talk about before, are Farmer's First Coffee and Dynamite Roasting. Farmer's First is located in Charlotte and Dynamite Roasting is located in Black Mountain. Uh, both of them do cool things with uh, the profits that they make. Definitely check those out. Uh, love, love, love their coffee. I kind of go between the drip pot and the French press. I think the French press makes a little better cup of coffee. Uh, but make it any way you want it. Just buy whole bean. Ground coffee goes bad, so not necessarily bad, but loses its peak flavor so quick. But if you can fresh grind it, it is absolutely fantastic. Definitely check them out. I've just got my water bottle here. Good old H2O is also what I've been drinking definitely, definitely need to consume as much water as you can. We like to drink Le Bleu. We actually have a water cooler with Le Bleu water, also a North Carolina product. Buy local. Le Bleu is really great stuff. Um, it tastes good. It's free of all contaminants. Here in the city of Concord, we have over 17 com contaminants over recommended levels. Uh, and most city water sources just have a lot of junk in it. It takes so much to keep a, a city system clean. We'd rather drink water uh, that we know is good, good stuff. Another one you want to check out is Spindrift. I love, love soda, and I've had to cut it out. I need something that has more flavor. This stuff is super, super cool. You want to look at the ingredients? Check out these ingredients. Carbonated wa water, raspberry puree, raspberry juice, and lime juice. Nothing else. A can of this stuff, nine calories. Raspberry lime is my favorite flavor. Uh, they've also got this other flavor here, lemon. Uh, kind of like a Sprite, really, uh, if you were to get like a diet Sprite or something. It doesn't have a uh, overabundance of sweetness. You look at this, carbonated water, lemon juice, three calories in the lemon. Uh, so 
hardly any any impact but it's got such a good flavor uh, if you like fruity flavors um, Costco has a great deal on this right now uh, the best price around it's 11 bucks for a 30 pack super good stuff would highly recommend uh, Spindrift as far as what I put in my coffee uh, I ran out of the vanilla. Vanilla is my preferred flavor, but this is Laird Superfood. I don't know if you've ever heard of Laird Hamilton, the surfer. He's got a cool, cool company uh, out in Oregon that makes really cool products. This creamer is super good. I've been using this in tea and in coffee. For me, I've got a calcium deficiency. Back when I had thyroid surgery, parathyroid glands, don't work that's the risk of the surgery but it's something you can live with so the cool thing about this stuff is check it out it's got all four MCTs nothing artificial plant-based look at the ingredients coconut milk powder coconut sugar aquamine which is calcium from marine algae you're thinking algae that must be disgusting no it has no flavor and extra virgin coconut oil check this out one tablespoon three grams of sugar is all it's got but most importantly it's not an abundance of calcium uh, but you tell me that your coffee made or international delight is gonna have calcium potassium magnesium so it's got good stuff to start your day and it's just beneficial. It's got great, great things in it, uh, and it tastes really, really good. So check them out. Alicia is always grossed out by this one, but I have been drinking this ginger turmeric tea. It is so good to me. It's definitely not the greatest flavor in the world, uh, but as far as the benefits it's super good for your digestive system you definitely want to drink organic tea organic tea is super super important they use a lot of nasty stuff when they harvest tea uh, so organic is definitely the way to go um, but to me this tea is is absolutely phenomenal um, and the taste to me isn't all that bad like I said Alicia's grossed out by it but hey my tummy's happy. My favorite kombucha. I love kombucha. Uh, out of all the flavors I've tried, this is my favorite. Trilogy. It is so good. Delicious stuff. Again, super good for your gut. It's only got 50 calories. It does have 12 grams of sugar, but it has to have sugar to go through the fermentation process. But as you can see, Kiwi juice, raspberry juice, lemon juice, ginger juice, and 100% pure love. But definitely uh, check out kombucha. A lot of people can't, don't like it, um, but I think it's delicious and, and really keeps my gut in tip-top shape. Another cool one that I haven't tried yet uh, is melcadamia. It's macadamia nut milk. Macadamia nuts are one of the best if not the best nut that you can eat uh, the most nutritionally dense um, this particular one is latte da uh, good for coffee um, really really tasty stuff uh, just a cool thing to put in coffee it froths really really well um, i've really enjoyed using a milk frother uh, and kind of getting that little foam gives you that more of a latte feel. Uh, so check it out. Uh, another really cool product. Healthy stuff. You're using macadamia nuts. Uh, the only drawback is uh, the sugar on this. It does have 7 grams of sugar. Uh, but you're talking 7 grams of sugar in a full 8 ounce serving. If you're putting this thing in coffee, what am I putting? Maybe an ounce or two. Uh, and again, 320 milligrams of calcium, 390 milligrams of potassium. Um, so got great, great stuff. 
Uh, so those are some of the cool beverages I've been drinking. Uh, definitely check them out. Um, I enjoy them. To me, most of them taste very good. Um, but give them a try. I hope everybody enjoyed the different beverages I have been consuming. Definitely check them out. They're super delicious. Just going to give you a quick update on how we're doing weight-wise. So last time it was 307.2, uh, down 1.7 pounds. Not a whole lot, but still moving in the right direction little by little. Uh, so that puts the weight at 305.5. So down 23.5 pounds thus far. So inching ever closer to under 300. Um, I hope everybody has a great week. And thanks for watching.